So we have a question from a viewer who wants to know about the problem of mentally ill uh, individuals ending up in jails instead of treatment, and what, if anything, the legislature should do about that. Who wants to take a run at that question? <laughs> well, I think, um, you know, that is that has gotten to be a problem uh, with uh, the fact that we have such a lack of access to different uh, to, to mental health facilities. And, uh, you know, for, for many years it was just the, the goal of the state to close up so many type of facilities and, and do something different, and yet we have to recognize that at some point there are, are needs for those facilities. What we see happening in rural Minnesota is we see our local law enforcement uh, having to deal with situations that, quite frankly, they are not trained to deal with. Uh, they're sitting with people that are in the emergency room at the hospital uh, because there's nowhere to go and, and, uh, and if there is a place to go, uh, you're going to travel far in order to accomplish that. Uh, and it becomes even worse when you're dealing with, uh, with, with teenagers that, that have uh, some mental health needs. And so I know that right now uh, in the bonding bill, uh, Senator Sinjum as the bonding chair is, is considering the idea, uh, and, and I know it's being considered in the House too, oh, yes. of some uh, regional uh, construction projects that have uh, that at least provide you with a place that that you can go to mm -hmm. and and at least on a temporary basis if nothing else uh, while we seek help in that regard um, you know and that that is becoming I think uh, together with with some of the, the opioid issues that you mentioned that the mental health issues uh, that's becoming some real becoming a very uh, almost daily occurrence far too often uh, and uh, and it's a, a tremendous burden uh, on the families, uh, on the individuals themselves, and um, and uh, we need to find a way to actually provide those those services. I'm going to use that to say that I think we it's time to act on health care in a broader way. I've been pushing a Minnesota health plan proposal to cover all Minnesotans for all their medical needs, including chemical dependency, including mental health, including long-term care, including dental care and cover everyone. And the idea is people say, well, how are we going to pay for that? We can't afford what we're doing now. How are you going to cover more people? And the bottom line is we're spending the money, but we don't take care of people's teeth, so they use the emergency room where they can't get anything more than painkillers and be told to see their dentist. We spend, after all these years of trying to make sure people don't overuse health care, we're spending twice as much as anybody else, else in the world spends on health care. There are only about 10 countries who spend more than half of what we spend, and they're far below that. And it seems to me it's time to, instead of trying to make it harder for people to get health care, especially mental health, but every kind of care, we ought to be covering everyone. And the studies that suggest you have a universal health care system actually say it's cheaper because you get rid of the inefficiencies of the system, because you have price negotiation. In January, the health department came out with a study on knee replacement, said the cheapest hospitals in the state for doing it were one-eighth one-eighth the price of the most expensive ones. And those cheap-end hospitals aren't undercharging. They're making, they're paying their bills based on that. The other ones are making a lot more. So the price negotiation and the administrative cost. I keep using the thing that we want every kid to get an education so a kindergartner doesn't have to qualify. A five-year-old gets to go to school. Their parents don't have to have the right school insurance plan. They get to go. And if we had the similar system with health care, if we got rid of the bureaucratic system where you have to qualify either through your employer or through the individual market or through government program, and we just said health care is going to be available to everyone, the bottom line is that's cheaper. And then people can make their own health care choices. And to me, the mental health system, which is, I strongly agree with what you were saying about it, it's, it's falling apart. And people who desperately need the help can't get the help. And I wish we, instead of trying to say, well, we're going to make sure nobody gets any health care they might not need, instead to spend efforts to say, let's try and make sure everybody qualifies, everybody gets health care. And that's not, the bill didn't get a hearing this year, but seriously, I think it's one of the most urgent things we have to do. And it's a huge issue, <clears throat> but it affects so much. And, and probably is, is going to be well suited for consideration in the longer term next year. So. Right. Representative Johnson, the mental, mental health issue, but also the broader questions raised by uh, <clears throat> Senator Martin. Well, uh, when I think about this issue, I think of a woman who lives in my neighborhood when I knocked her door. And I, when I knock a door, I ask, what, what should be Minnesota's priority? And she said, dealing with mental health. And she told me a story about her son, who was placed quite a ways away 
who had needs uh, and a uh, place quite a ways away from Mankato, and she didn't have the means to go see him. We've got to do better than that. We absolutely have to do better than that. And I hear about this challenge from law enforcement, health care, uh, the schools. And I sat on the mental health task force uh, in 2016, and we talked about a continuum of care that recognizes first that mental health, just like physical health, has to be addressed from its many facets. You know, you don't treat an apodectomy the same way as a sore throat, and the sore throat is different than a strep throat. There's nuance in there, and people who, who experience mental illness face different needs at different times. We need a, a, a very responsive system to, to, a, to address them. Um, and I, I just think it, it, it needs the priority, and I was surprised this last time I, I campaigned. It's, how many people are talking about this? With respect to the larger issue, I, in a practical sense, there is something we can do right now, and at least to, to give a little more access to health care out, especially in rural Minnesota, and that's the Minnesota Care Buy-in. And the governor has appropriately been pushing this. I'm disappointed that that has not been considered in the House, and I'm, I'm hoping we, I still hope for a hearing, because we, that's Very an good. opportunity. And, and, and on that note, I'm going to thank you, because we're out of time. I'm 